Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, everyone watching. This is Running On Empty Food Review. I'm in focus now, and uh, here we are. Alright, I'm gonna say this with no exaggeration whatsoever. Number one, I know the lighting is doing its thing, that's fine. I am on the clock. This is probably the most action-packed review you are ever gonna see. Probably. Not a guarantee, but most likely. Um, because think of this as, like, Review Bra is finally making his action movie, um, cameo right now. Okay, this is it. Uh, this is it. We have a line of strong storms moving in, probably gonna be here within the next ten minutes. I have a new pizza here from Papa John's. I wanna review it. We're racing against the clock. This is like a superhero movie. This is finally, like, the Review Bra... Uh, Marvel Universe crossover of 2020 we've all been waiting for. It's here, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, let's see. Can I can I review the shack of Roni Pizza from Papa John's in time? Ooh. Well, I'm cutting it close with every second that I waste right now, so let's, uh, let's just do this. See, I knew the lighting was going to improve. You can tell because the storm is moving in. Uh, so Papa John's has a new release out right now. It's called the Shack of Roni Pizza. And it's supposed to be shack-sized, as they say, okay? Extra large pizza with extra cheese and pepperoni. Large foldable slice, uh, ever they say. 12 bucks, and uh, they say of the $12, $1 gets donated to the Papa John's Foundation, uh, which is supposed to support communities um, for equality, fairness, respect, and opportunity. We're cutting it close, so let's just do our thing. There I am with the shack-sized box. He's gonna protect us from the lightning, so uh, don't worry about that. But there he is with the uh, the big pizza slice. It's actually an autographed box, so this could this is a collector's item. Don't forget about that. This could go for lots and lots of money. So sports fans, get ready. This, of course, is for Shaquille O'Neal. I got this delivered. There it is. Got it right there. Very large pizza. It's just a pepperoni pizza. It's supposed to be very large, like extra large sized. And, um, that's it. It's really, there's no huge point. This is supposed to be like a thin crust pizza with pepperoni, cheese, toppings. And it's just supposed to be a really big pizza, okay? That's the whole point of it. Big slices, you know, for a big appetite. For a big guy like Shaq, you know, pro athlete. Hopefully I'll get my uh, NBA career started soon, so this should help me along the way. Alright, that's what I look like with it. And uh, with that, let's just try it out. This is going to be a really short review because, um, again, these storms are strong. And they're moving in quick. We've got the meteorological gust front coming in right now, so let's just try it out. The um, Shacaroni Pizza from Papa John's going in. It's a very hot day today, so the storms will cool things down. It's like 100 degrees right now. That's why I got the short sleeves going. But it's just a lightning thread. If it was just rain, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, eh, let it pour. You know, I just take the tie off. If a shirt gets wet, it gets wet. It's just water. It'll dry off. I guess you can eat it like, like this too. I usually don't fold the slice, but they say it's the largest foldable slice ever, so you can see it can be folded. Twelve bucks. That's what the price for it is. All right. Here's the consensus so far. This is a shack-sized pizza. All right. It's big. If you think I'm going to be able to eat all of this in one sitting, I mean, look at this. This is. Usually I say the size of my head. This is like, if you got three of my head right there and put it there, then it might be as big. It's like the size of my torso. 
So I could probably like wrap this around some sort of body armor, you know, and wear that, or like a vest even. It doesn't even need to be armor, though the, the, the grease does help, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, I could do that. I could probably wear it as like a fancy vest also, pizza vest, you know. You could have fun. You could probably wear a giant pizza necklace, wrap it around your neck or something. But if you want to eat it, it tastes pretty good. The thing is, is that the selling point is not necessarily the ingredients. It's like they're saying, um, you know, we're using this uh, new special type of, um, you know, garlic seasoning featuring, uh, let's say, some of the fabric from uh, Shaquille O'Neal's old, uh, you know, NBA uniforms or something, right? Uh, it's not like that. Instead, it's just saying, hey, we've got this pizza. It's got the standard ingredients, the pepperoni, the sauce, the cheese, all that. It's just supposed to be larger. It's just a very large pizza. And um, that's the whole appeal. So, taste-wise, I think it's pretty standard. It's not a doughy pizza. It's actually more of a thin crust pizza. So it does have a little bit more of a bake to it, a little bit more of a crunch, a little bit more of a crisp to it. Um, you really can taste the, the pepperoni. There's a lot of pepperoni on this, and I like that. More than you even get on an average uh, standard pepperoni pizza. Uh, secondly, what I notice is that the, the pepperoni has this little bit of like a greasiness to it. A little bit of that spice to it, but also a greasiness as well, more pronounced. Um, the cheese is definitely there in the sauce. I always like how it has this little bit more of, um, I don't know, it just has a little bit more of a, a robust flavor to it. That's what I like about Papa John's. Their sauce is always pretty good. It's, it's you know, pretty standard, but I just like the taste of it. Um, otherwise, it's a pretty basic pizza, I would say, but there's a lot of it. And uh, definitely that's the big selling point again. One thing that I also like that I just got to show you right here, and you can see it pretty evidently, toppings go all the way to the crust, right? Sometimes you get these pizzas, even the regular um, hand-tossed pizza, the crust is a little large. The crust, it's like, eh, uh, you know, it takes up like maybe a quarter of the pizza. And I think people like the crust. It's like, oh, well, I like it. I think it helps with the experience, whatever you want to say. Toppings go straight to the crust, um, which is good. I think that's a good, it's a good thing. So, I would say all in all, it's a good pizza. It's average. It's like standard in terms of flavor and in terms of taste. It's like, okay, there's no, again, no big selling point aside from the size of it. And also, if you do want to support a good cause, that does help too. It's like, okay, uh, I want to do that. I want to help with, um, with this, this foundation, etc. Right? A dollar of every sale goes to that. Um, but value-wise, it really is a good deal, definitely. Um, 100%. $12 for this massive pizza, good amount of toppings, good amount of cheese, sauce. There is actually some extra cheese on it, too. I could actually taste a little bit of a, a more pronounced cheesiness to it. And uh, just lots of toppings. It packs it to the crust, so that's good. Real quick, I'm just going to try it with some garlic sauce. Ooh, the sky is getting black. Getting dark. Moving in, folks. Moving in. Buttery flavor of the garlic sauce complements it well as expected. Try out the crust. Mm -hmm. Crust is solid, crust tastes good. You know, not a lot of it, but has that little bit of a crunch, like I already said. Pizza does have this bake to it, so that's what we got there. And, um, yeah, overall, I think it's a decent pizza. Uh, out of 10, I would give it a uh, 8.0 out of 10. 8.0. Because, um, again, to tell you the truth, it's a little bit above average, but especially the value. Really good price, a lot of food, and uh, it tastes pretty good, too. So, a shack-sized pizza. Um, certainly something that, I mean, if you're really ravenous, it's like, okay... You gotta wait out this thunderstorm, I'm just gonna, you know, you can do that if you want. Um, or you can have it slice by slice, you'll probably get a couple meals out of this, a couple snacks, etc. So, um, that's why it's got the rating that it's got. Again, it's mostly focused on portion size as opposed to, uh, as opposed to any sorts of new ingredients, etc. So, uh, that's what we got. A good deal, good meal, and, uh, good quality for a good cause as well. And with that, I think it's time for me to wrap this up, uh, perfect timing at that. We got this storm definitely going to be here any second, so uh, 
I'm gonna get into into cover and uh, snack on some pizza. We braved the elements, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Running on Empty, Severe Storm Edition Food Review. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and today we tried out the, uh, what do they even call it? <laughs> the Shacaroni Pizza from Papa John's. Thanks, be safe, I'm getting inside now.